Yeah, hello, welcome back to our channel and to another day of Vlogmas. I just got off of a Zoom meeting, so I was wearing like a really nice sweater and I had lipstick on and then I took the dog out for a walk. My neighbor was so kind, as I mentioned yesterday, she came over and watched Annie for the hour. Actually, it was like pretty quick, it was like a half hour. And um, they had so much fun, it went so well, which is, oh, I'm just like so blessed to have the nicest neighbors ever. Um, but um, then I took Corny for a walk and I realized I was wearing pajama pants and a sweater sweater like a nice sweater on top very very zoom fashion um but we're getting the day started now after I thought the meeting went really really well it feels so good when I get a chance to like work um but the rest of the day I'm working as mama right she's just staring at me we are currently about to put on our outfit for the day let me show you this adorable little sweatshirt that my mom got us this is from Target I think it's a yeah baby cat and Jack, and then these sweatpants that I think actually Tracy gave us as a hand-me-down. I don't know, I've got hand-me-downs from like a handful of people, so it's hard to know who gave me what, but I think so. So that's our little outfit of the day. I haven't showered yet today. I like threw on makeup right when I woke up for the meeting, but I need to like actually like prepare myself for the day. But guys my eye is getting worse again and if there's any like eye doctors out there can you help me out actually there is someone in there um uh, on here i think who is in school to be an optometrist ophthalmologist i was like anthropologist no um it's like the bump is almost gone but now the whole eye is turning red it's a nightmare basically i think maybe i was doing too hot of a compress yesterday so maybe it's just like irritated from that and or i was outside yesterday and it was like super windy i don't know but i can't seem to get it under control and i'm like can someone just cut me a break i i i cannot take another whole month of my eye looking insane uh but here we are and he's just staring at me being like who are you talking to <laughs> The internet, Danny, the internet, a place you must never go. The race to get stuff done while the baby is sleeping is like no joke. You, I vacillate between being like, okay, should I just like relax for a few minutes or should I get something done? And I was just about to be like, you know what? Let me treat myself to sitting down and just playing on the internet. And then I realized we don't have any formula. <sighs> I was able to wash my hair though, which felt so good. Um, and check on my eye. Sorry, this eye saga goes on for all of December. What thrilling content. Um, but back to the hair, more importantly. First of all, I think that it's starting to really look great and I'm loving the color. Uh, but Annie loves hanging out in the bathroom. So I like put her in the bouncer and I give her like a little bath toy, even though she's not in the bath with me. We just keep all the bath toys in there and she like gets a kick out of me showering. And now she loves the blow dryer. So I was able to blow dry my hair, which is like such a blessing. Anyways, she's down for a little bit. So I'm going to make some formula and hopefully have a moment to maybe continue watching Bachelor in Paradise. Eee! But I'm also doing laundry. Life in balance, you know? She's still sleeping, it's Christmas miracle. But then I was like, oh my God, I have so many bottles to wash. The journey of washing bottles is a real terrible one. But more specifically, I use Dr. Bronner's, which is like an anti-gas, anti-colic one. So there's all these extra parts to it. Let's see, one, two, three, four. There's like five or six different parts that you have to wash per bottle. If you know, you know, it is a nightmare, but the bottles are like the best and I feel like she does the best with them. But oh my gosh, the amount of time, I mean, to be fair and truthfully speaking, Jeff usually is the one that washes the bottles. He not only is so good at it, but he's also so good at it, um, <laughs> self-proclaimed. And also I'm here to stand by the fact that he really gets in there and scrubs deepest um, for the deepest, safest clean. But my God, I'll show you. I mean, there's just so many pieces that go to it and you can't just like, you have to like deeply clean. We use these little scrubbers and this, which looks like a little toilet bowl cleaner. So I'm always disturbed every time I use it. But truly, I mean, it's such a process just to do one bottle. Update, instead of relaxing, I just like double down and like hardcore clean the house. <laughs> Not relaxing at all, but productive to say the least. I mean, I got into like the stove top, like it took off the things and like washed them deeply. Am I having a little bit of a breakdown? Possibly. Cleaning does help though. 
cleaning does help also i put some neosporin on this eye guys and i feel like it's already helping fingers crossed it's just a momentary blip in the matrix um all right i feel like annie now is in such a deep sleep but she kind of needs to get up because if we get off too hard of our schedule then the night goes really late and then we don't get her down till late which is fine except that i like to go down early so selfishly i'm like let's get this train moving we're gonna go over to tracy's in a little bit to play with dean and uh her daughter lois uh she is her husband's like out of town i think he's coming back tomorrow um but i was like oh well Jeff's working, so we might as well team up. We are just like housewives now. <laughs> the other day, yesterday, we were pushing the strollers at the park. She was like, did you ever see this future for us? And I was like, absolutely not. But glad that we have it together. Glad we have it together, although she has two. And you guys with multiple children are actual heroes. One is so hard, I can't even imagine. Ooh. A thrilling update, my eye is getting works again this is really the vlogmas we all asked for and needed and wanted um and are getting oh the eye doctor's calling we're back in the car for another car vlog car vlog halfway through the vlog corny are you ready to go see grandma okay so as it turns out the eye doctor was like yeah you need to come back in like are you serious i only get a couple hours a week to myself and like every time i do it i have to go to a doctor to the eye doctor and spread my copay of 85 dollars because insurance is ridiculous and deal with this but i did start taking the antibiotic finally that he prescribed me so hopefully he's gonna say that's what i should do um so we have a couple hours before then we're just gonna go hang out at my mom's and get some work done Never a dull moment. Although all the dull moments, you know what I mean? All right, we've been several hours at my mom's just doing some work and then I remembered, I forgot to tell you guys about this, I totally got scammed. I feel like such a victim. <laughs> I'm so upset about it. Okay, I um, ordered, got something on Etsy during Black Friday, they were doing like a big sale and this girl had this shop that did custom sweatshirts based on like pictures of cars and so i bought my brother adam if you're watching this skip ahead i don't want you i don't want it to be spoiled um i bought him a custom sweatshirt with his um first car on it and because he like loved it it was an old volvo and i was like oh that's a perfect gift to love that so i sent so i like purchased the thing and right away it sends me a confirmation that the item was sent but when you buy the like when you buy the custom thing it says like email this email with the pictures of your car so that i can you know make the sweatshirt so the confirmation that it sent was like before i even had sent her the picture so i was like okay that doesn't make sense like that must have been uh like an error on her end so i emailed her and i was like hey you must have just clicked like sent the item before i had a chance to get you the pictures can you give me a few days i'm trying to get like the original car picture for my brother she never writes me back so then i email like a couple days later or I message her a couple of days later on Etsy and I'm like hey I'm still waiting for pictures on the car but like just want to make sure like you said that you had sent the item but it's a custom item so you need the pictures so she finally writes back on there and it's like oh yeah just you know send me the pictures when you have a chance so like maybe a day or two later I email her the two pictures with a whole explanation of what I'm looking for and my confirmation number the whole thing and I never hear back and I'm like what the heck so I write her on the help center on like etsy and i'm like hey i emailed you did you get it and she writes and she doesn't write back and then like a few days later i'm like can you please confirm and she's like oh i didn't get it can you send them here so i send them there don't hear anything back a day later i'm like can you please confirm then i get this like standard like clearly she wrote this to everyone was like hey i'm a small business and unfortunately i needed to close my store don't submit a claim i'll send you your order sorry i'm a small business and i'm like okay listen i am the hugest advocate of of supporting small businesses and like i get it sometimes like there's blips in the system or in the road you know what i mean like there's an issue maybe there were too many people that ordered and whatever but like no talk of refund like at all so and like 
I'm not rolling in the dough here, you know what I mean? Like I am trying to be mindful with my spending and if I'm going to spend, I wanted to spend small business, but I wanted to grab the sale, the whole thing. So whatever, I just like, ugh, this kind of stuff is like so frustrating to me because <laughs> anyways, so I'm like, okay, She's like, so don't submit a claim, but I'll send you your order. And I was like, yes, please send me my order. Doesn't write me back. Then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to submit a claim because like, this is not fair. Like, I, you know, I don't want to get this person in trouble, but also she's not handling this properly. Like there's a way to handle this properly. Um, you are a business regardless of small business or not. Like you are a business and like, I spent money expecting to get this item from you. And like, there's not even talk of like options. You know what I mean? whatever it wasn't even that much money but like it's just principle alone and had she approached the situation differently i might have been like you know what forget it take the money happy holidays but like it was like the lack of communication that really like i just felt like i was being taken advantage of so i submit a claim and right away it's like oh we've elevated this claim to etsy and like two minutes later it's like claim closed and i think because she had originally said the item had sent they decided like well, she sent it and there's like nowhere to like combat that claim. Like I can't, and I can't reopen a claim. Like the whole says, unless you guys like have a phone number for Etsy that I can like call or something. And so then she's like, well, I can send you the item. And I was like, yes, please send me the item. Like, well, she's like, I can't, I can't get you a refund, but I can send you the item. I'm like, great. Send me the item. Like at this point, I don't even care if it's a blank sweater. Just send me something like, oh my God, or send me an explanation at least. Anyways, this is all to say, never heard from her, never got an item, never heard back from Etsy. So now I'm like, do I reorder it via another person's page? I'm like reading all the reviews, but I'm like, do I just like stop buying from Etsy? Am I wrong for being so upset about this? Now my brother's just not getting a gift. <laughs> just like in the end, my brother loses. Ugh. I think I will reorder it though, because there's so many different um, shops on Etsy that do this. It's just like, a, it seems like it's a pretty like easy and standard thing to do, but um ah i'm just like come on man like literally that's stealing at this point right all right i'm going into my therapy session <laughs> okay i'm going into my zoom therapy session which is a good thing for all of us you guys <laughs> well team we're back at the eye doctor i'm really uh, so thrilled to be here um i will let you know obviously since this is like just such a cliffhanger just just what a season we're having here um what he says but um hopefully really all i need to do is to take those antibiotics and get on with our life i have like so many events this week including a party that i'd love to wear makeup to but i'm guessing i probably won't be able to so I'm like, do I step my eyeglasses game up? But I feel like I, I feel like my eyeglasses are pretty cute. I have some options, so I just gotta figure out which pair to wear with my party dress. You know what I mean? I also need to find a party dress. Huh? By the way, I was editing this video a little bit earlier today when I had some time, um, like the first half of it, and I'm sorry that some of it is out of focus. This camera is so old. I very badly need to get a new camera. Put it on the list, folks. Um, so that was so bizarre. I waited a long time, which is fine. I was just close my eyes and like take a little cat nap. Um, but he was like, um, yeah, I don't know if that's like a secondary infection or if like the first infection never really cleared. You don't need to take the antibiotics. Let me give you a steroid cream. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I started the antibiotics. He's like, take the antibiotics. I was like, well, do I need to take the antibiotics? He's like, no, don't take the antibiotics. Well, take the antibiotics. Sir. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't really know what's going on and what to do with me. So I don't know. They're going to have me get the um, ster steroid cream and see how that goes, I guess. And then I could restart the antibiotics in a couple of days if it doesn't get any better. I think I recall, like, this thing looking like this at first. So I'm anticipating that my eye is just going to, like, basically fall out at some point. So, um, <laughs> at this point, all you can do is laugh in between the tears, but mostly just laugh, you know? Um, all right, I've been away from my child for so long and I miss her dearly, so I'm gonna run up there and check how she's doing. I came home to a very happy, sweet, cute lady who is happy to see me and there's really no greater joy. And it makes all this little stuff, or not so little, but annoying stuff, like my eye, not matter. 
Also, I've been seeing, I've been looking at the clock, and every time I look, I've been seeing angel numbers, whether it's like 1111 or 222, just like, you know, all um, of the same number. And I'm like, God, that's just got to be a sign from someone somewhere telling me that everything's going to be okay. That this is like a, just a rough patch <laughs> that I'm going through. But the new year is on the horizon. And like I said, I have a happy, healthy baby. And like, I mean, what could anyone want more than that? I mean, a lot of things. But, like, <laughs> but you get the point. Um, so anyways, that is the journey for today. Thank you guys so much for spending another day of Vlogmas with me. Ah, I feel lucky to have you guys by my side, so stay tuned. We're gonna go meet Santa Claus soon. I also really do need help picking out an outfit for this party, so maybe I'll try it. I got these, like, I rented some sparkling jeans. They're, like, straight up bedazzled jeans. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like, oh, that's cool now. Um, leave it to me to think the least cool thing is cool, but... Um, I rented them and I need to try them on for you guys to tell me like a can I pull them off and be like what to style them with So I think if I can muster up the energy to do that and or insert a picture tomorrow I will absolutely do that. So stay tuned um, Yeah, all right. See you next time. Bye